welcome back to Indie Faith. You're here with Jules and Mary. Hey guys. And two wonderful Woo-hoo! guests. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> so we have Luna Kid Double D. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have Mihaka James, yes. aka Hopio. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> My cousin does her research. <laughs> yeah, she does. Mm-hmm. How did you guys get your nicknames? Um, are you first, babe? Because yeah, um, the Luna Kid. Oh, ever since I was little, I was like obsessed with the moon. Oh. Like, yeah, things that associate with the moon, and I didn't realize till later on. And I wanted like a, what do you call it? Like a non-binary sort of name. Not that I identify as non-binary, but. If I was to do drag later on in life, I would be the Luna Kid. Oh, so. oh love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love it. Um, mine was pretty much because it's my star sign, Scorpio. Uh, and yeah, I yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. And then the whole. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a little bit of um, backstory. <laughs> no, it's just me. <laughs> you know what they say about Scorpio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's lies. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Oh, thank you guys so much for thank um, you, thank joining you, thank our you. podcast. No. Uh, so we're going to start with our first segment, which is um, an icebreaker. So I'll give it over to. Ooh. So I just I just changed it last minute because I met this lovely couple, and then I realized that first icebreaker is nothing compared. So <laughs> it doesn't measure up. So I'm, a, I'm just going to ask you guys because they're such a beautiful couple. Um, a few questions. If you don't feel comfortable, let me know. All good. Okay. All right. First one. Okay. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Mm. Like as a couple or both? Okay, oh, shit. <laughs> um, you go first. You go first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, in five years, I hope to be creating more content. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully on a bigger platform or like a bigger production wise. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess for us to. Still the same, not married, no kids. <laughs> <laughs> and rich. Yeah, and rich. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, is that, yeah. Is there anything else you want to? Um, not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, yeah, pretty much. Um, so as I was saying before, like, like many streams of income and yeah. stuff like that, mm-hmm. like obviously financially stable, uh, my business to be like thriving, yes. um, helping people with their businesses and yeah. pretty much in the Polynesian community, be more involved. Mm-hmm. Um, and as a couple, like pretty much, I think, yeah, doing stuff together, enabling, you know, mm-hmm. the Polynesian um, community and stuff yeah. like that. So. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I love that. It's so hard to talk about yourself. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I know. Yeah. But I love it. I love it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just for context, um, context, how long have you been together? 11 years. 11 years. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so since you've been together that long, what is your advice for c- other couples who... Ooh. So how do you get to 11 years? What would you What would you advise? I don't others? know. Let's ask the thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Where? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, do you know what I always say? I tell people is that like, when you're in a relationship, you have to kind of grow individual individually, yeah. and come together as like two ones, like yes. whatever, you know, not two halves, but um, that type of thing. But um, yeah, I think it helps out when you balance well. You kind of know each other with their flaws and stuff like that. I know it yeah. sounds really corny and, um, no, know, no, no, well, it obviously works though. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't know. It's just w- when you learn about certain things and how, like I had to grow a lot and able, like I'm an angry person. <laughs> My patience is not very, you know what I mean? Me too. So, yeah. <laughs> and he's very patient. So it kind of helps. Yeah. And I think, you know, you choose what you have choices, what you want to be angry at, how you're going to deal with certain things. Mm. Communication is key as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's me anyway. Yeah, I feel like our our answers are quite similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, communication, obviously, growing yeah. apart and then together as well. Yeah. And learning how to grow apart once being together for so long as well yeah. 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 would be good as well. Because we used to live together and then I moved out. Like when coronavirus hit, because yeah. I was like, Bitch. to be with the family. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like, I don't know if y'all know, but I ain't got a job. So, like, <laughs> how was I going to help out? Like, yeah. 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 But yeah, also with saying that, um, oh my gosh, you said something and then it popped in my head and now it's gone. Oh, what was that? Um, who cares next? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> 
Okay, what does love look like to you both? Oh, that's good. So deep, so it's good. Um, mm. A big I bottle. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. Really <laughs> big <laughs> bottle. No. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's so crazy because, uh, like, I think I don't know if we ever spoke about that. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, what we envision Ooh. as like love. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's endless and uh, like not endless, but like very deep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I just find it has to be passionate and very like as one. Yeah. 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 To Connected. Put it, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. Understood. You mm-hmm. know, type of thing and being open. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what's love. Yeah, I'm not going to elaborate on that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because you already said your answer. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, um, let's have a look. Okay, so do you ever want to have children? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I don't, but we've spoken about it. Yeah, many times. I think we were saying earlier too, like, we're not very open to it. I mean, we don't mind, but I think it's like, yeah, maybe... Not <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. highly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These the nephews are good. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and how would you describe your relationship to your family and friends? So when you guys first Ooh. got together, how did you describe it to others? Shit. I mean, do you know what? I think it's more of how we are together in like person. Yeah. Mm. I think a lot of them kind of value our relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot yeah. of my family. Yeah. They kind of see like, man, you guys been together for so long. Like, how does it work? Type of thing. So. Yeah. I think explaining it, like, a lot of people explain for us. Like, yeah. If that True. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, But we're not like, oh, my God, yeah, with these, you know, mm. like, yeah. we're always together. Nah, it's always, like, them explaining type of thing. But, yeah. I forgot what the question <laughs> was. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you describe your relationship to your family? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so blank. Um, I don't know. Like what he said, they pretty much explain it like i feel like we've never really had to explain yeah what each other is like to someone else yeah Yeah. like and if they do i'm just like oh you meet him and you make that decision yeah yeah that's fair (laughs) i love it yeah Love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love you guys too. This is the first time we met, and I swear we love each yeah. other. Yeah. I swear. It's so comfortable. Honestly. Yeah. Thank okay, you. and how do you two deal with difficult situations in your relationship? How do you deal with it? <laughs> <laughs> um, communicate. Communicate. Yeah, I'm mainly the angry one, <laughs> meaning like my yeah, I'm very abrupt. Yeah. Yeah. In a sense, so um, he's more the calm person. So. Uh, I don't know. We just, I have to come down to a certain level. Mm. And then I'm always catching myself like, is it worth it? Yeah. So until I get you to like that pick point, your battles. Yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. right. Um, but yeah, he's always waiting there. He's like, are you dumb? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I take it back. Yeah. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like very vicious. Like I will yeah. literally block you, you know, that time. Yeah. But um, he's just like, okay. All right, let's talk. I'm like, yo. And then, um, <laughs> I love you. Yeah, that's how <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. How do you feel like? I don't know. I feel like we just, we don't even have to communicate yeah, we're to very know good that at, something's like, wrong yeah. with one yeah. of us. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. the one look thing. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those Shit, eyes. I fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those Scorpio eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they can sting you. Those poo kind of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like we don't really have to communicate to know that something's wrong. Yeah. Um, if we're in a setting where we're with people, we'll be cordial yeah. in front. And then yeah. once we're on our own, that's oh, when that's we break good. it down. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't, yeah, we don't put these, like, each other on blast. Like yeah, we don't kind of. Like some couples, like, shit. Yeah. 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 It's I mean, it's do so you? uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah it is. It's awkward uncomfortable. as. <laughs> I'm like, this is awkward. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What else did he say? I should pretend to mop the floor. Like yeah. like. <laughs> Ironing outside. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, and last question. Do you guys ever want to get married? Um, we said this, like, we love to, that we have the choice now. Yeah. So if mm-hmm. anything, you I think like that. Well, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, but us getting married, it's more because, like, 
we don't want to pay for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so hard. That is, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's either we go big or we go small. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what, you know? So I'm like, I don't know. We The price doesn't justify our love. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. In that sense. but And I feel like we don't need, like, a PayPal. Yeah. 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 Like, we, we've been yeah. together for so long. Yeah. Like, we don't need yeah. anything. Yeah higher or yeah. whatever yeah because i always thought it's for legal reasons like if, <laughs> per se like if he was getting well or something happened to him someone has to be the contact mm. yeah. so like if we weren't married then the person would have to be the parent or something oh, like that. Yeah. so i always thought of that way yeah. it's like, okay let's get married so we can kind of yeah have that yeah. legal right mm. yeah but knowing other things i'm like oh yeah we don't have to really yeah so yeah <clears throat> but yeah love to have the choice yeah, yeah. Love it. thank you guys that was she my got married um uh, last year, Corona. Fifty dollars. Power sale, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll move on to our next segment. So this one is called Just Jokes. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I I am up with the joke this week, and oh my my, my one. <laughs> Yours are always better than I mine. I always laugh at these. Mine are <laughs> trash. Mine are so trash. And then I'm uh, like... <laughs> <laughs> See, I was like... Because uh, I found this joke at like four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. And I have like a twisted sense of humor around okay, that time. So very dark. We like Ooh, our dark I love humor. it. I, like I, it. I, I hope it's funny, but... <laughs> 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 okay. So a man goes to sit down on his plane ride. As he goes to sit down, he notices the man he is sitting beside has a black eye. He goes, hey, you have a black eye. So do I. And the other guy was like, yeah, I got it from a slip of the tongue kind of misunderstanding. Oh, my God, I got my black eye from a slip of the tongue as well. What did you say? And he goes, oh, well, I was in line to purchase a ticket for this flight to Pittsburgh. The lady at the counter had large breasts. And when I approached her, I accidentally asked for a picket to Pittsburgh. <laughs> and she sucked me in the eye. And then he goes... Yes, mine was quite the same. <laughs> there I was at the breakfast table with my wife, and instead of saying, pass the orange juice, I said, you ruined my f- life, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> both eyes, both eyes. Were they Scorpio? <laughs> hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were, eh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That I, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Um, okay, so next segment is what's on your mind. Mine's a little bit different, and it's it's more for selfish reasons, and in all honesty, it was the only thing I could come up with. Um, <laughs> okay, I have been to quite a few hens nights this year. Mm. Um, mm. My cousin has kindly let me stay here for some of those, um, you know, wake up the next morning, <laughs> yes. and nice. I'm here rather than wake up in a completely different place. Yeah. Um, my question for you guys is, this is what I've been thinking about. What is your ideal hens or bucks night that you would want? Ooh. I want like a badass like <laughs> <laughs> I want to go like money gun <laughs> I want champagne like I want it all yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know <laughs> I don't know me neither I don't know really because um, whenever I get to that <coughs> part of planning for like you know the whole wedding thing yeah, mm. yeah it just it, it doesn't happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you like get a sore head yeah. just yeah. like according to my calculations <laughs> I'm broke <laughs> you always think about your partner the uh, uh, strippers uh, yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm coming <laughs> <laughs> you're the stripper eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you thought bitch <laughs> <laughs> oh um, I don't know Okay, I'll go because yeah. I've had a lot okay. of time to think about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot similar to, to James. I would yeah. go all out because, um, you know, it's your hen night. Yeah. You want to like live it up. It's your yeah. last, you know, hurrah as a single single person. Mm. Um, I probably want a boat, mm. a big expensive boat Ooh. Mm. with yes. my heaps of money. Um, <laughs> Girl, keep going. Yeah, keep going. I'd invite everyone. I'd yeah. invite you, you, you. Thank you. It would go off. I yeah. just want a big, massive, like, this is my night. I would go crazy. Yeah. 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 I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at everyone. Who's <laughs> 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 going? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably go, like, if I do go big, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I probably won't invite family. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, um, this is probably the same. <laughs> oh no. Uh, um, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. I probably won't invite family. Flicked. <laughs> 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 Can you go get this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see how it is. <laughs> um, no, you're, you're you're my maid of honor. Yes. Oh, uh, oh as she is for me. So. Yes. Oh, cutie. Love her. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, as for setup, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'd probably yeah. have to plan yours anyway. So yeah, we're, we're fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I don't think about it. <laughs> that's your job. <laughs> so why is that? It's actually gonna be her inside. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Oh, well, at least you guys know. Like, you guys, yeah, yeah. I just found out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should change everything. <laughs> Write it down, write it down. Scrap the tea. Oh my gosh. Um, Would you guys ever do like a um, destination one? Oh, I'd love to do one. I'm yeah. more luxury, like yes. relaxing rather yes. than, to be honest, I'd rather drink, get fucked up. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather like get my nails done or something. Yeah. In Bali or like yeah. the Maldives. I'd love to go to like oh Bora Bora or something. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jamaica. Oh, yes. <laughs> Beach, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to do a destination like Bucks, Hens. Hens yeah. wedding. Yeah. 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 Um, It'll be fun. I would want like party but like near a beach yes. like yeah. you know like That's i want to party hard maybe mm-hmm. some drugs like <laughs> <laughs> he meant panadol yeah, yeah. yeah. panadol <laughs> panama yeah <laughs> <laughs> whatever you can afford <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i don't know i would want to like party but then during the day like tan yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. swim like relax and party yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. love it we're so old. All right. Um, okay, next segment is story of the day. Um, so this was out recently, um, the about a movie based on the Christchurch mosque attacks. Um, oh, my gosh. oh, wow. Yeah. Chanel talked about it, hey. Yeah. Oh, yes. I saw that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this hurts me. <laughs> so it's like, so they've already got Rose Byrne to um, play Jacinda, um, and the film's going to be called They Are Us. Um, so it's about the attack, uh, but it, it's more based around the response to the attack, yeah. not the actual attack. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it's, yeah, basically the point of the movie is, um, according to the directors, to address uh, common humanity and show that it is an example of how we should respond when there's an attack. Mm. Um, but there's just been so many hate um, on this film. So a lot of people, even the Muslim community, <coughs> um, they're all saying how it's very insensitive mm. and very whitewashed. Mm-hmm. Um, there's already, like, hashtags, shut it down, Um What's the other? The most recent one, hashtag they are us, shut it down. Um, and a lot of protests against this film happening. Oh, wow. Um, so I wanted to get your guys' opinion and mm-hmm. like, what do you guys think about, like, you know, the, the, this film? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of agree with Chanel as to like, I, I, I get the response. Mm. I think it's a good idea. But the thing is, like, oh, I really don't want to get this wrong. Um, Oh, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm trying to think. Oh, maybe you go, babe, because I'm. Trying to <laughs> like, well, I'm I don't get it wrong. Like, yeah, I don't know much about it. I know that I've seen Chanel put Post something up. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the first things that came into my mind is like, is this being directed by a white person? Mm. Like, is it by their perspective? Mm. I'm so boom, boom, boom. <laughs> is it their perspective? Like, is there an agenda to that? Like, mm. are they getting the Muslim? community involved on like how they were treated during it are they getting their views and is it being from Mm -hmm. a racist like stand view or like there's a whole lot of questions yeah Yeah. i don't know really what's going on yeah Yeah. um do you know if it's from a white person that's been i I think the uh andrew nichols so i'm 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 assuming (laughs) 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 yeah it sounds half cast (laughs) Yeah, yeah I think um yeah I think it's more the fact that it's more how like the it, yes whitewashed mm. and how they handle it because it's a white person yeah and mm. how it's more s- superior yeah, yeah. Overall. yeah so they're trying to miss they miss the point mm. rather you know what I mean like, yeah oh, as like a whole nation type of thing yeah. rather than like um, it's more of yeah the white always on top how mm. they handle it well and yes. you know what I mean yeah. that type of thing 
So I get that. That's why I'm trying to say of with Chanel, I totally get it. Mm. Yeah. And it's just another thing for them to kind of put them on top of yeah. you know, overall when they're least affected. Yeah. 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 Like, if anything, nothing affected from, you know. Yeah, like, like mm. wasn't the it was a white was person. Like, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. That was my like, issue too because mm. I'm just like, it's, it's so whitewashed mm. and I think they're not taking into account a white man did this yeah. <laughs> yeah. to the mosque. And yeah. I think yeah. that's yes. why they're getting such a response because it's like, oh, okay, so your kind did this to us. And I'm not mm. saying all white people are like this. That's not mm. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. issue is you are not Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't know what it feels like to have that happen to your community, to mm-hmm. your people. Mm. Um, and I get it. You know, you're tr- you're, that's your craft. You're trying to be creative. I get it. Mm. But yeah. if you don't have the respect to actually... Mm go through like you know the proper people to actually do that film yeah, yeah. you should not do it that's yeah. just my opinion yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. don't yeah. do it at all yeah, yeah. 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 Don't do it at all because yeah. there's no point of trying to promote yeah. that response of what she everyone knows what she did yeah. yeah like it's not even proving anything yeah, yeah. so like yeah another whitewash thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like for me, um, when I saw Chanel's post as well, I hundred percent agreed with the um when she was talking about how um they sidelined the the the, the Muslims yes. or yes. the victims. Yeah. So they don't even get their story. <laughs> no. yeah. yeah. So it's like, well what's the point, what's the point of, of, of the that film movie then? Yeah. 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 What yeah. is the point? What yeah. really is mm-hmm. the point? Yeah. Like have they come out and said that what well, they want to Well they wanna to focus portray? just on Jacinda? And okay. you know how she's had so much of an influence mm. on like other global leaders yeah. as well, yeah. um, and the way <laughs> she's handled it. Yeah, um, I think they're just focusing on that on on her 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 perspective. Really, but then do yeah. a biography. Yeah, yeah. Do like, yeah. A, do like, yes. do like her whole span of her career so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's amazing, but like, yeah, don't have, yeah, the response. Why does I it have know. to be that one yeah. thing? Yeah. 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 And I and I feel like it's too early as well. Like she's still mm-hmm. in power. Yeah, yeah. anything could, can happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Scomo, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not, sorry. Yeah, but, yeah. but she still is in power, and yeah. it's still very early for yeah. her. Like she could stuff up really soon, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll change the whole thing. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. And like imagine like the victims as well and their families watching that. Yeah. Because and, and like you saw some of the court cases online, like, you know, that yeah. one son who just, he flipped off yeah. the guy oh, who yeah. did it because he killed his dad. Oh, and shit. like, did you even yeah. ask him or, or see what he thought or yeah. his opinion yeah. or yeah. Like yeah. how he feels? Yeah. Or Involve everyone. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they're going to say no. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the whole idea why they went through it without yeah. asking anyone. Mm. But it's like. What's but I, I hate to say this, but it's just privilege to me. 100%. Yeah. It's, that's just what I think. 100%. If you don't have the decency to ask people first mm. and just go ahead and do it, yeah. that's just privilege. Because you never yeah. went through it. Yeah. You yeah. never had to, even through your life. Like, yeah. That would never happen to yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. It's just yeah. ignorance to me. 100%. Well, that's our opinion. <laughs> 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 I'm just hating on it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so don't watch the yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. Shut it down. Hashtag <laughs> 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 shut it down. Hundred <laughs> yeah. oh. percent. Um. All right. Okay. So our um next segment. So we wanted to get to know more about you, but we've covered most of that in the icebreaker <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I'm trying to think. Oh, sorry. Okay, that one's answered. That one's answered. <laughs> We can talk more. We don't <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. No, that's all right. Um, so I want to uh, go more into like the stuff that you guys are in now. So um, Mihaka, you're in From the Ground Up and you both do the Cut Up podcast as yes. well. Yeah. You also do a YouTube vlog. Is that so? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, you went there, man. <laughs> Oh, she does so her research. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so honored. Like, <laughs> I know. Man, that's crazy. A yeah. lot of people don't pick that up. Yeah, <laughs> you try to bury it. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, where'd you find it? No. It's still public on YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> that's my fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We what do you want? That. Yeah, you can elaborate with your. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, hi. <laughs> First of all, I want to say, like, thank you so much for, like, reaching out. Oh, like, yeah. I know. I'm thank so you honored guys. to Honestly. be a part of this. Yeah. Like, Made my week. My mom. Yeah, I love yeah. when he messaged thank me and he's like, can my boyfriend come? And I'm like, oh, my gosh, yes. Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, um, I don't want to be that person. I was going to sit at the back. Like, no. Because yeah, that's why I asked like, you. I was like, can he be in it? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. The more the better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, um. Yeah, I do from the ground up podcast. Um, Great you can work. check that out on YouTube or Great work. soon to be Spotify. Yes. Um, Ooh. Yeah, shout out to my co hosts, um, yes. Bella and Nibs. Love you, bitches. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> we love you. 
<laughs> um, we also do our podcast with Dollar Sign Stelly, yes. which is called The Cut Up. Yeah. And, oh, wait, sorry. So From the Ground Up, it's like a Western Sydney-based podcast. Um, we talk about, like, Polynesian. It's quite similar to this podcast as well. Um, we also, like, interview, like, Polynesian businesses, um, Indigenous businesses or people. Um, yeah, I'm just talking too much now. Next. No, um, no, that's no, what yeah. you do, babe. Yeah. It's fine. But yeah, yeah, but I'm sick of talking. No. <laughs> Don't lie. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> um, How many yeah. people have you interviewed um, so far? On I feel the like they've up. done so many. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I like. I love it. It'll be awesome to keep numbers. It'll be yeah. like, oi, that's so true. I think. Oh. Maybe like fifteen people, maybe. Oh, yeah. I thought it was more than that. M- it might be. I think some were groups too. So like. True. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like we've we've done thirty episodes so far, so some of them's ours, but most people it's like interviewing Clients, other bitches. Yeah. yeah. I mean yeah. people. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then with the cut up, um, we talk about like pop culture. Like, do you listen to the Cousins Couch? No. True. Um, <laughs> that's sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, we will now, I promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're really I'll good. Write it down. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Exposed. <now. laughs> um, it's kind of like the the Cousins Couch, which is another Polynesian um, yes. podcast. They're Tongans, and oh my gosh, they're so hilarious. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like talking about pop culture, but we also like choose a person to like cut up for the week that's like done yeah. wrong in our eyes or something. Oh, I love it. Or it's needs so to be like, held accountable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And that's then awesome. YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> YouTube. Um, we had a YouTube channel a few years ago. Yeah. But we're getting back into it. We've filmed some oh stuff. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. 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 We filmed some stuff and yeah. yeah. It'll be fun. Is it more like fashion? Um, like your vlogs? Uh, so I, I don't know. At the time, like, we had so many things that we wanted to do. Mm. Like, my mind goes a, a lot, like, you know, yeah. 100 miles per hour or whatever. And so, like, whenever we shoot stuff, I just put things out there. So, I, but I never plan. That's oh, my downfall. That's <laughs> yeah, I don't plan things, really. So, it could be anything. Like yeah, just no, that's good. Stuff yeah. like that. Or even um games or something. Just That'd be so good. Yeah. 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 Um, it was so funny, too, because we were doing a video, like, I think a mm. month ago. A, a month ago. And before we did that, or after we did that video, actually, we looked back on one video, that our latest one. Oh, yeah, that was so cute. At the cute. time, it was so crazy because, um, and that was like a year ago that we did the last video, I think. Was it Almost year two two? years. Two years. And we watched it and it pretty much was stating everything that we wanted to do. Mm. And then oh. since we've done it, yeah, yeah. we're just like, oh, And we've done shit. everything we've that done we everything said. So yeah. yeah, and like knowing us, we never, like, I never keep tabs. Yeah. So to kind of watch it, it just like validated everything. Yeah. yeah. And kind of just did. like oh, put my, yeah, into perspective, awesome. like, oh my God, I did the business. I'm, I'm doing, like, quit my job. Yeah. Like, man, it's crazy. So yeah, well, I think that when that video comes out, you guys will see. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Another mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I saw, um, I think it was your first um, vlog where you were walking through the shops and I think you were picking out. Oh, yeah, like, Newtown. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, I, I was actually getting excited because, like, you don't see many videos where, um, you know, you, you walk in and you sort of, like, um, pick out you know outfits and yeah. see what goes with what. Like yeah. I, I, my fashion sense is pretty oh, <laughs> that's basic, okay. but you know, like for anyone who wants to go extra, like yeah. you know, like those fashion tips as well, mm, like yeah. help. Yeah, and then, like oh, I, I really, that was, I thought that like that bit was pretty cool. When oh, you were you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's so loyal. No, thank you so much. Oh, my. I would have watched like the first two minutes. I'm like, uh, I saw you went to. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you so much. Yeah. yeah thanks. Um <laughs> and and you do Stepera Stepera uh, yes. Beauty? Yeah, so um me and my best friend we started a business Stepera uh, Beauty. Mm-hmm. And um so how we came up with the name was pretty much my last name, Stevenson, and her last so she's Cookie and her last name's um Papera. Oh. So she pretty much put it together because we had some names that was like... <laughs> oh, that was like us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Hard. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> to label yourself. Yeah. Like, it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. I what Rob said. Rob was like raging like swimmers or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm not always angry. Or yeah. <laughs> well, something about That's rampage. That's for the bedroom. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the stripper. That's a <laughs> 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 got a tattoo on my <laughs> raging song. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> 
that's an interesting name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was something similar yeah, to that. Yeah, we had a lot of bad ones too, like um, Coco something, oh, uh, like Salad Noir. Yeah. yeah, there were a lot of cringe ones that were just like, um. <laughs> At the time, it's like, it makes sense. Yeah. Not yeah. Right I'm so glad. We yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel not like a lot of... Oh, sorry. No, no, no you're right. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> nah, not to shit on anyone who has Coco in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a shit name. Say, <laughs> there's like a few podcasts out there that like started with like the whole Coco. Sort yeah. Of thing. yeah even we yeah. started off as Coco, like from the ground up. We yeah. had like some like coconut or like Coco yeah. something. Yeah. And um, the mm. also Table Talk, they wanted to be like Coco Brown Boys or something. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's so, it's like involved in like you know the culture yeah. and yeah. then trying to make it known yeah. that we're, you know. But I love how all the islanders go to the same thing: coconut, yeah. <laughs> hibiscus, or something. <laughs> French penny, <laughs> French penny kisses, <laughs> chicken. I don't know something. Like. 100%. Oh man! But then when you get called coconut, it's like how dare you? Yeah. yeah. Well, we can claim it. We yeah. claim it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So other than that. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, side of the business and stuff like that, um, and that's what I'm doing currently. <coughs> and that's yeah. and lashes. You used to, do um, so lashes. So we sell false lashes. Yeah. So pretty much, yeah. So um, I don't know if you want me to elaborate like the ranges and stuff, or you yeah, want to sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we have like five five lashes. Um, we're working on getting some more stuff out. Ooh, so can't wait. yeah, it's exciting. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and some accessories and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's been really good. Oh yeah, wow, really really good. Um. Doing a business, like you learn a lot about yourself, yeah, and your mental, like pretty much, yeah, your lifestyle has changed and da 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 da. But yeah, no, I'm loving it. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. awesome! Yeah, thank you. So it's um stiperabeauty.com. Yes, yes. Yeah. Dot com. check it out. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I asked you this off camera, but I'll, I'll ask do you both model. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you can't already tell. No. I know. <laughs> um, Hugga does. No. Yeah, I mean, you'd, you would love to do it. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Like, I've done stuff here and there, but, yeah. Well, Pacific but Runway, you got oh, yeah. Pacific Ooh. Runway as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I'll be in Pacific Runway this oh, year, 2020. Awesome. Yeah, check yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Me neither. Yeah, <laughs> that's <the> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. You should both do it. Yeah, like, sure. Oh, I've been wanting to, but, like, do you know what's funny? I remember when it first started, and it was $7. It was at... Um, mm. West Tigers, yeah, oh, okay, place. yeah, and uh, we modeled then, but like it's been so long. But I love how big it's gone. Yeah, and where it's, it's so I'm big. So proud of her. Like mm. it's crazy. But I'm modeling. I don't know. <laughs> I would love to model different things, mm. but I wouldn't do it as like a career or anything. Yeah, uh, yeah, you sure. should. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 yeah, you guys should too. Like what oh, the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I would so follow. Like legit. Like legit. 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 But yeah, <laughs> legit. <laughs> King too tripping. Yeah. Well, any agencies out there? Hook them yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Hook them up. Yeah. <laughs> um and. My last question is, uh, I randomly came across, uh, I didn't randomly, I actually stalked your page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stalking like crazy, yeah. 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 to be honest. Yeah. So you guys have actually met Paris, Goebel? Oh my, oh my God. God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Girl, you, were, you, went you need to come, like, you need to follow right now. <laughs> Man, oh my you are God. so good. You're yeah. good. Oh, I Jules those does her research. <laughs> she does her research. How is that? How did you get that far <laughs> down? Like, well, I have like 13,000 posts. I know. I know. <laughs> That's why I was up at four in the morning. <laughs> That's when we used to share the Instagram. Yeah, we used to share it at yeah. that time. Yeah. Oh, it was. Didn't, yeah, I met her. Oh my mm. gosh, you know what? Funny, funny story. Because she's Scorpio too. Anyways, okay. I was like so hype. I went to Collingham and I bought those letters. And I had like a love heart and stuff. So I wanted to go and let her sign it. And I was like, Paris, Paris, and da, da, da. Because they were working with her. Mm. And it was, I went up and I was like, I love you. She goes, do you love me? Or do I love you though? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and oh I, I'm not saying she was a bitch I or know, anything. Yeah. I couldn't care less. I was like, just mm. sign it. <laughs> Give me a hug. Like, I get it. I would have been the same. Yeah, yeah, I would be the same. Yeah, because yeah. she was like, just finished the set. True. Da, 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 and like in her face. And she goes, yeah, of course, babes. And then she signed it. And I was like, Paris, I love you. Like, <laughs> And we met the uh, request. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! How did that come? Oh they my came gosh! For the Pacific yes, Runway. Um, no, no. no. Yes. I remember me and his sister. We, you guys went. We to auditioned. The dance thing. We auditioned oh, yes, for yeah. a 
mega crew in Sydney. Yeah. And then that didn't end up happening. And then the guy that was doing the recruitment was like, oh, I need workers for this tour that was going on. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, who are the dancers? And he's like, request. I was like, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, and this is when they just came off their like first year of winning. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, bitch. Like, they weren't even like. They weren't what they are. Yeah. yeah. Was yeah, not yeah. what she is now. Yeah. And then, yeah, we got that job. Didn't get paid, <laughs> but we stole. <laughs> <laughs> but we stole from the till. <laughs> Look, <laughs> we are for the people, <laughs> by the people. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that's how that happened. But yeah. then we met them. We met request again, a few weeks well, before Paris. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, without Paris, yeah. we got to meet. Um, what was her name? Oh my gosh, I think it was Oriana, Sam, Oriana, and Raimi. And Raimi, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Random no, names. Wow. They're probably not even in request anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think they're living their lives. I think one of them lives here, Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, I think she lives here. But, yeah, no, it was amazing. Like, you already knew just by watching her and the yeah. crew, they yeah. were going to be, she's, like, on it. Yeah. She yeah. is on it. Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. you met Paris? No. Oh, no. I think that's what I wanted to know. Um, it was, like, how is she? Like, it, like you know, she she's seems beautiful. like such a yeah. switched on she, yeah, person. Yeah, her work yeah. ethic, yeah. I've seen, like, just different snippets of, and I'm mm. like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, I feel like it's very, yeah. very work. She's especially so driven. when she's around, like, when she's working, when yeah. she just got off stage, it's very, like, yeah. We're here to work. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Just, she's not a bitch, but... She's not a bitch. A lot of people that don't... Und- I would say, like, obviously I don't know her that well, mm. but coming off with other people's opinion of her, they was like, nah, she's very hard, like, even doing one of their classes. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, she's so intense and stuff like that. I was like, but she's trying yeah. to teach you to get yeah. to a level. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a worldly level. Be, yeah. Like, yeah. come on now. You can't... Ex- you, yeah, you're going to pay her something, but get there. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, if anything, she's probably less bitchy than everyone else so. yeah yeah and yeah any, any support really but yeah she's good yeah she's oh, good wow. but i do have some tea, <laughs> <laughs> Share the tea. okay so <laughs> okay i'll say she's not a bitch to me she wasn't a bitch she was a bit rude to my friend but yeah. my friend was very annoying that night okay. so i got that another thing is we were backstage me and her sister we were with the other ones, not Paris. And oh. yeah, it's <laughs> yeah I okay, so we walked in and we were like hanging out with them, and then they were like just talking, but kind of under their breaths. And then they were like, Oh, like, I don't know, she just looked at me, and then I had to take my hat off. And she's like, Why are you wearing a hat? And why am I not wearing a hat? But you're the only one that's wearing a hat. And I was just like, Oh, who are we talking about? <laughs> and then they were like, Oh, no one. And I was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And then in walks Paris. And yeah. then I was like, Why is everyone quiet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to get that, bro. You're going to get yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's was, not going to be, you know, hip, yeah. happy, cheery, sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I can't believe you like went that far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's cr- I love that. I'm so like, Astound. Like, oh, at least you're she not did. looking at me like I'm like. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Kaz does her research. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, get, get it. All right. Um. Okay. So we are going to move on to our main topic. Um. So we wanted to focus on the uh, um, uh, our Pacifica people in and yeah. LGBTQI community. Yes. Um. I'll be honest. Like mm. I'm not sure if it's um. Un- unintentional ignorance mm-hmm. that we like that we're not aware of the challenges that you know the lgbtqi community face mm-hmm. um and like unless it's in the media or on social media mm-hmm. then like that's when you know we know about these things like you yeah. know about the challenges yeah. and yeah. the brutalities and mm. all that um so we've wanted to cover this topic for ages yeah. um but it was it was hard. It was always hard to prep for, mm. yeah. Um, and our hearts, like, we just didn't feel right to cover this topic without having that experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or being from the um, LGBTQI yeah. <laughs> community, because it, it would feel like a little disrespectful for us to talk about something that That's, we have no idea yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. First yeah. handedly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and like you know, it's not. It, we can't relate. We don't have that experience. Yeah. Um, and I feel like a lot of movements these days, like, um, they have. Um, I don't know if you guys find this as well. It's like the majority speak for the minority. Yeah. And it's like, like for example, um, don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> so the, like, you know, Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah. I find more white people are f- like, you know, are, are protesting than, mm-hmm. than like the black people. Yeah. Yeah. 
and I, I just feel like it's, you know, it might, it's the same with the LGBTQI community as well. Yeah. And I feel like, um, you know, with the majority speaking for the minority, it changes the, the narrative yeah. and, and, you know, the, the purpose of, of, of the actual movement. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that might be the reason why it's been a movement that's still going mm -hmm. decades later yeah. and no improvements. Yes. Um, yeah. So like, Honestly, thank you both so much for oh, really? um, for real, for yeah, real. for be, for oh, being pleasure. on our podcast yeah. and also to being open to talk about this because yeah, we yeah. also wanted to have your insight mm -hmm. in it as well because we don't want to say anything that like you know we don't even relate yeah. to yeah yeah um so yeah um <laughs> uh, okay so I. I'm not being morbid. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so the last month there was um, news about um, the murder of an LGBTQI activist in Tonga. Um, his name was Poli Kalepo or Poli Kefu. Mm. Um, so he was the president of the Tongan Ladies Association, a trans advocacy group. And nice. he also uh, worked with Tonga's Red Cross. Um, his body was found on a beach near his home. Uh, it's such a tragic story. Um, and to think like, you know, that even a month later, we're still seeking justice for him. Mm. Yeah. Um, so apparently a colleague of Polly was saying that, you know, uh, the officials or the police over there, they don't take these, like when it comes to, yeah. um, you know, uh, gay, gay and transgendered people, like they don't take these cases seriously. Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, I, we saw a post um, as well on Chanel's page yeah. and she was talking about this as well. Um, I, like it just got me thinking, like, you know, looking at our own people, um, like just shocked that there's still a majority of Pacific Islands that um, still have criminalization laws mm -hmm. for homosexuality yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in the islands. <coughs> like I did not know that. I didn't know I, that either. Yeah. 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 Mm. Um, well, it's, it's expected because it's not – in the sense of where ha you have to deal with it. Yeah. So it's, it's totally understandable. Yeah, yeah <coughs> definitely. Um, and like, uh, like recently I found out that like, you know, Papua New Guinea, for example, it, it's like a 14 year imprisonment as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Other islands, they don't, they, I've noticed they don't say anything about lesbians, mm. a lesbian couple, but if a man has sex with a man, mm. uh, that's like facing up to 10 years yeah. almost um, yeah. in prison. And like we were talking about it this morning yeah. and, and you didn't even know either. No. And mm. like if I didn't go in and research, yes. I wouldn't have known. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, so like uh, personally, do you find that like you're more um, accepted by our, our people or um, more from the Western society? Mm. Sorry, what that's a good question. Good question. Yes, nice. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I need to think because yeah. to me, yeah. I need to get it right. Too. Um, <laughs> I think I'll start yeah um so for me like i'm i'm maori and i feel like in maori communities um for me it's from my experience and what i've seen it's kind of more acceptable to be gay lesbian trans within a maori community but then again that's only my experience um only because like with myself it wasn't that difficult to come out or yeah. to like yeah. be appreciated and stuff like that. But I will say growing up in a Western country, um, in the West of Sydney, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think what also made it easier for me is that, you know, Polynesians, they're kind of, or oh, Pacifica people, they're kind of looked at as like strong mm, people, you yeah. know? So where I grew up in Mount Jewett, mm -hmm. like there's a lot of us there. So I feel like I was easily accepted into that part of society in Mount Jewett um, because, you know, like Pacifica Poly people, we usually have each other's yeah. back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it was easier. It was easy for me, but I think it was easy for me because of the people I was associated with yeah. or mm -hmm. like I'm usually seen with. Whereas other people wouldn't say anything because of my friends who are around me, or maybe they were scared of me, I don't know. But I think it was easy for me growing up where I grew up with the people I know and people that look like me. True, yeah. 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 Mm. So that's just for me. Um, I think I, was, uh, I would say it's kind of equal. But mm. I'll say my culture more in a sense because it's, it's home. Yeah. And um, 
So like, what I'm trying to say, um, I already have a role in my culture, like yeah. already. So as, as soon as they know I'm gay, it's like they already think, you know what I mean? You're the mm. person that's going to help the family and da, 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 yeah. and that type of thing. Yeah. But um, being accepted, uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard because I would say the Samoan community, like the culture, um, only because it's I'm surrounded. Yeah. Like you you grew up with knowing yeah. someone who was yeah. listening. So um, in saying that, I don't know. It's kind of hard to like, to, sorry, I'm like going in. No, no, <laughs> yeah, right. no Trying to make time. sure I get it right. But um. Yeah, no, just with like, I think for me in the culture, it's more of the men. Yeah. Because they're uncomfortable. Yes. And, and my presence make you uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm. Only because of what you know of me and what's, and what pisses me off is what I do behind doors. Yes. It's none of your business. Yeah. It doesn't determine who I am or yeah. how I should, how one be in prison for. Yeah. yeah. Like how we, pre- whatever. Um, so stuff like that. So I guess it's more, I don't know, for me, it's always the struggle of men. Yeah, mm-hmm. like this, you know, whatever. But um, in saying the Western society, I don't really, I don't even be accepted that side too. Like, <laughs> I have no real place. Yeah, you know, I kind of have to make that place and make yeah. people feel comfortable mm. in a sense of making myself comfortable. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say it's kind of equal, okay. if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, sense. yeah. No, that makes sense. Because, mm-hmm. like, I, w- I was also curious because with um, like Islanders, um, and I've noticed this in school as well, and also in in the workplace is that. Um, especially like the men, mm. they will say they they accept it, but then like you know the mocking and yeah. oh, yes. all of that. It's very like, yeah. like mm. you know very nature, yeah. first nature, you know second mm. nature. Sorry yeah. to kind of say those things and use it against. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's funny. We're always the funny one. We're yeah. always yeah. the you know we're changing and like whatever. Like oh look at that fafa. Yeah, like you know we're always the funny clown one. Never taken serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our lives are never serious. Like it's always like that. Yeah, mm. uh, for for some reason I don't know why. Yeah. Like it's, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Just, I guess it's not validated to what gender you are. Yeah. True. And labeling yeah. and stuff like that. Christian mm. religion as well has such a, you know, big, big place. Part. Mm. Yeah. Big part for it. Yeah. yeah. Especially colonization. Yes. You know? Yeah. Mm. yeah. And, and that's um what I wanted to touch on as well, because um like since we've started this journey, uh, we've done a lot of uh, episodes on like, you know, our history as well. Yeah. yeah. And so we've, I've noticed um the the further i'm researching about you know our our cultures and our traditions and why we are the way we are mm. is is basically all come down to colonization yeah. mm-hmm. yep. and um yeah. i feel like uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if it's true or not but yeah. it, it almost seems like you know um in the islands uh we didn't have an issue with like you yeah. know sexuality mm-hmm. and all that yeah. like we have like fa fingers yeah. You know, yeah. in, in samoa um, and like you know, when it almost seemed like it was normal, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, we didn't like it wasn't a big thing, yeah. like um, until like you know colonization. So you got the you know British yeah. coming in with their sort of laws, mm. and then you had also Christianity yeah. with their values. Yes. Into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I and it's not just with like sexuality as well. I feel like our you know our customs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our religion as well mm-hmm. is just everything, our way of being. life, yeah, yeah, just turned upside down, yeah. And, um, so I feel like, in a way, it, to us, it's normal, but I don't know if it's because we also look at, you know, how the Western people or the, you know, the, the Balangis, let's say, how they treat, you know, the like, you know, um, LGBTQI yeah. community mm-hmm. that we're like, oh, okay, well, you know, uh, I don't want to like. It's almost like we conform to that. Yeah. 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 But really, like, you know, we it's don't have the, an issue. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. 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 it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. No. Like, I remember as a kid, um, like, like our parents, because I had, we had uncles and aunties who, who were gay and, yeah. and everything. Yeah. Hmm. And um, they were still treated somewhat normal. Mm-hmm. But again, the whole mocking and, and they would say like remarks and different things. And it, it made us kids feel like we couldn't be that way. Mm. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like our yeah. parents wouldn't say you can't be gay, yeah. Yeah. but their actions spoke for them. Yeah. yeah. How they treated exactly. people who, who were gay. Yeah. Um, but I had no issue with it. I was like, they're still the same person I've known since I was like little. Yeah. 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 It makes no difference to me even now. So I, I think a lot of it's got to do with, like you said, colonization. Yeah. Because my upbringing, like I said, they didn't say things or they did, but the way they acted towards people who are gay and everything. Yeah. It didn't sit well with us. Yeah, because yeah. it, it goes back to that that pride. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
and how, you know, other people view us. So if yeah. we're like, you know, um, accepting of like, you know, um, our LGBTQI community, mm. then they're going to judge us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, have you like ever spoken to someone that's in their fifties or like older, mm-hmm. um, and like what their sort of, um, viewers on it? yeah, viewers on, on like, like gay or transgendered people and what their stories were like back in the day. Oh, um, <laughs> as in like part of the LGBTQ community? Yeah, both. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, I haven't spoken to anyone like outside of the community in that say like about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas more of like, um, yeah, whoever's in it within that age. Yeah. They w- basically what I gathered is like, they never speak upon how it, they, they kind of detach from it. Mm. So it's a lot of trauma. Mm. So yeah. I understand yeah. that part. So they, I won't push forward in the sense of like, oh, you know, what else has happened to you? Or, mm. you know, what was it like? It's more say of like, um, yes, I had to leave home. Da, da, da. Like pretty much your, not your typical story, but how it, you you always hear. Yeah. yeah. You know common what I mean? Story that yeah. It's yeah. a yeah. very common story. And um, I don't know. They won't really speak about it. I find that's the common, don't, dom- uh, sorry, denominator mm. about, um, them not talking about it mm. yeah and teaching that and then it will kind of teach you like all right make sure you do this and you know sometimes you couldn't do that and mm. make sure you do this and like whatever mm. and yeah. i was just like okay so it's more teachable things what not to do yes. in the public eye yeah. yeah whereas you know and so it's i don't know i never kind of got that information where um the question you know mm. like what was it like it's just more of your safety like yeah. your life True, yeah so it's more you know struggles than anything mm. yeah um, some people had it lucky but they paved oh, i wouldn't say paved the way but they kind of made it they were fortunate yeah you know some people are, are obviously some fortunate um stuff like that but they're not saying they didn't have to struggle you mm. know what I mean? so it's quite similar stories mm. in that in saying that qu- um, answer whatever yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> i yeah. feel like i haven't had that experience um but i feel like when you're gay or like lesbian, if you fall under the umbrella, um, <laughs> you don't really like talk about those things unless a new person just came out because okay. then they're asking yeah. for like advice, advice okay. and stuff like that. They're seeing how you went about it to see how they can go about it, how they can deal with things and deal with like telling other people that may not know and stuff like that. So I feel like when you talk to like older people that are under the umbrella, it doesn't come up like that yeah it's usually a new person that's just come up that's asking you for advice and stuff yeah. like that. okay yeah it's really sad yeah because as, as straight well i'm straight yeah I, we, we don't have to go through that sort of thing yeah you yeah. have to give someone advice about being straight yeah yeah and it's really sad that they have to do that yeah, yeah. yeah. especially for safety reasons and for you know protection and just for yeah. to have to feel like you belong to a community yeah. mm-hmm. they have to like ask for advice for that mm. yeah do you, do you find that you talk about it more within the community or is it also like very hush hush as well? You just go about your day like, do you know what I mean? Sorry. Um, like about the lifestyle and what to do, like our lives yeah. in general. Yeah, like, um, your, you know, like your rights and, and like what, like if, if anything, like if you're going through discrimination and that, um, do you sort of reach out to, to people within your own like community and um, then yeah. like, you know, you know what I mean? Yes. Like say like if i have an issue i will go to like someone yeah mm. yeah um because i find a lot of there's a lot of su- uh, there's high suicide rates because mm. like a lot of young you know um transgender or gay people they yes. don't know who to reach out to yeah as well um is, is there a lot more of that kind of communication within the community itself yeah there is i think it depends on the person too yeah <laughs> like uh, uh obviously the support group that they have but um, with me, my experience, like, I do have a lot of support groups, like, or supportive system anyway. So I do tend to go more into the community. Yeah. Just because we understand or mm. there's something, you know, that I find hard with my mental, you know, state at, at that time. But, um, so yeah, to answer the question, I go more into the community that rather than reaching out to someone. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm teaching them yeah. And yeah. Tell, while I'm telling them. And yeah. then it's like, I, it's not that, it's one point, yes, I want you to relate, but also listen yeah but that's all they could do and there's not much they can kind of relate to kind yeah. of like all right mm. we'll do this or maybe open this unless unless it's like a general i yeah. don't know how to speak to my mom if it's like something like yeah. that mm-hmm. yeah then they can kind of but if anything i'll go to like the community or haka or someone like that yeah kind of like in that i sense. feel like i would go to him as well yeah. yeah only because like we've been together so long yeah 
and stuff like that. Whereas if I was younger, I would go to the community. Yeah. If I didn't yeah. have James, I would go to the community. Yeah. Only because, like you said, it's relatable. Yeah. They have some sort of understanding. Whereas, mm. like you said, you're teaching someone and they're probably not even understanding it because they're trying to gather all of this new information. Yeah. Yeah. And trying to make it sense to, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, how, okay, how I feel, what, what is it, you know what I mean, mm. to what I do and stuff like that. But if anything, there is help out there. Yeah. There is help way. online. Um, there's always, you can look on, I can't even say the word, Google. Oh, Google. Yeah, like, there's always help there. I yes. mean, if you're not comfortable, like, there is free help, like, um, free therapists or yeah. whatever, you know, you can try that out as well. Mm. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Or oh, Headspace as well is a good one to use. Yeah. yeah. Like, please use the resources because not everyone has the same support yeah. system. So yeah. Mm. And off. especially if you're, like, a Pacifica or um, a poly person, yeah. try and seek it from another person that's within that vicinity. Yeah. Yes. Because, like, if you go to another person, their experience is so different. Their mm -hmm. cultures are so different. Like, if you go to a white person, it's going to be yeah. way different. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Being a part of, like, gay and a person of colour, yeah. you're obviously di different from, like, yeah. the white gay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. even that we have to deal with, too. <laughs> yeah. It's very like, different. Oh. Yeah. White yeah. gay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, they yeah. annoy me like, so much. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Even in our own community, I have to admit, it's a lot of, like, labeling and stuff yeah. like that. And a lot to, we have to work on. Yeah. yeah. And privileges and stuff like that. So it's it's very, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say, like, minimizing or whatever. Yeah. It's, you know, degrading. But it, there's a lot of stuff we have to work on as well. But yeah. talking about support, there is a lot of support out there. Mm. Um, yeah. Hey, you actually touched on my next question, which was, like, well, how, how do you find, like, your experience uh, compared to like a white, you know, um, mm. white gay person's mm. experience, like is it the same or like? Yeah. But you, you pretty much say culture also plays a big yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I keep talking. No, you, yeah, you, go. you go, babe. You go. Um, I forgot what you said. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, no. So, like, um, you know, compared to uh, a white oh, gay yes, person's experience, experience. yeah. yeah. Yes. Um. I don't know. I feel like for me, it might be a little bit different because like I grew up in a like half white household, half ah. Maori um, household. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure because I don't really hang around with a lot of white gay people and because they annoy me. Like, <laughs> is that by choice or is that like? Probably by choice. Yeah. And mm. Probably your preference though. Like yeah. Like your preferences with friends and people yeah. we associate yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. Relatable. Yeah. 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 Like I just relate to people of color or yes. like indigenous people, black yeah. people. Like yeah. when it comes to a white person, it's very different. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. Um, but I would say like when I was younger, uh, the first thought I ever had of like being gay, I remember where I was, I was sitting in front of the TV and then I like thought about it and I was like, oh my gosh, like why am I like this? Like mm. Mm. it's not fair only because at that age, there was no one around me that was gay. Like, okay, yeah. there was no, I didn't have aunties and uncles that were around me to be like, yep, yeah, it's okay. Like, there yeah. was no example for me. Mm. Um, whereas, I don't know what it's like for a white person. <laughs> 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 but then again, like, I know, like, colonization, religion is very attached to, like, white people and their stigmas and stuff like that. So mm. it could be difficult in their eyes, but. You still have good privilege, so yeah, <laughs> it's unmatched. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, do you find that they have more privilege, like as a white person? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. 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 genuinely yeah. as a white person, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like they yeah. won't get followed around the like the mm -hmm. house, the the store, or whatever stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I mean, or yeah. even like being like the, how they are. Sometimes I find they're so much more easier to be more feminine and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. like people it's, tolerate it more. Yeah, yeah. 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 because they're white. Yeah. And if yeah. It's, yeah, it's a period of race, whatever. But yeah. if it's like a person of color, it's just like, it's so funny because they copy everything. This is my experience. Mm. I'm going to say, well, they copy everything that is cultured. Yeah. Yes. Everything. Like, yeah. The, you know, per se, like the African American woman, mm. the man mannerisms, the culture, mm. everything mm. they have embodied. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can't classify what they do. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm. well, who are you type of thing? Yeah. Not to kind of like verse this and that, but. Yeah, I always feel they have, like, a privilege yeah. In, sense, yeah, in the community. It's just, like, normal racism. Yes. Like, white gays are at the top of the LGBT pyramid. And 
trans people of color are at the bottom. Whereas, and they're the ones who like are forefront. Yeah, of like the movement. Yeah, like yeah. they really paved are. the way for us to be where we are today. Yeah, yeah. like you cannot deny it. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say like they don't struggle. I wouldn't say that. I don't yeah. want to, you know, um, put that in. But um, they don't. But you still have the privilege. Of yeah. yeah, yeah. You still have the yeah. privilege. You, you have a privilege know. over us. <laughs> 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 Just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what were um. Like, have you guys ever been dis? Oh. I was legit about to ask that. Oh yeah, I was gonna be like, have you guys ever experienced discrimination? Oh yes. And yeah. like, which yeah. which sort of ethnicity or background or type of person mm. is the most that uh, you get it from? Definitely our own. Uh, going yeah. up, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have to say definitely our own. Like even I even tell like um, stories where some of my ex friends like even drinking like let's say we're drinking out you know at home or something they don't want to drink my drinks because they think I'm gonna be. Yeah. Carrying, yeah, know, like, yeah, mm-hmm. like just bullshit stigmatism. I'm so glad you yeah. said ex friends. Yeah, <laughs> oh, of course. Like they're just like, no, oh, it's okay. And I was like, oh, why? Like, yeah. just have a taste. I was know, le- like le- legit about to ask for your lip balm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should have talked about like, oh, of course, girl. <laughs> but like, Can yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you have to use your nails. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. Um, yeah, heaps. Yeah. I think heaps. But at the same time, we do get like we're built up by our own people as well mm. you know it depends on the person and their upbringing um even outside our culture we get mm. a lot too even like old generation yeah especially in working in hospitality like a lot of old white women mm. would not handle me like yeah. they would not, i don't want to be served by you mm. and i'm that person i have to clap back yeah i have to because oh, yeah. if you're not learning today someone else can tell you yeah. i like to be the one mm-hmm. you know yeah. so yeah i discrimination not daily but I choose my battles too. Yeah. Yes. If I don't want to do it, then, but I have that that privilege as well. Yeah. Like I gotta say, I have that type of, you know, mm. yeah, that privilege. <laughs> yeah. I talk so much. Sorry, but you don't. No, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I have, and it has been from Pacifica people. Yeah. Like, um, I remember one of the. Okay, so I was in high school, and I got. I was already out in high school. Um. And I was best friends with this girl at the time. And I was also friends with her boyfriend as well. But one lunch, I got like dog shot at school because he thought, wow, it sounds like I'm going to cry or something. Um, (laughs) I've got tissues. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, I got dog shot at school because he thought me and his girlfriend were hooking up. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, bitch, there's no way. I am gay. <laughs> the whole school knows. Yeah. Like, I it was a homophobic team. attack. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, there's no other reason. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another, another instance is when I was, like, I've worked a lot of pretty gay jobs. Like, I was a makeup artist. Um, I worked at the airport. Like, every guy at the airport's pretty much gay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and stereotypical. Yeah. Um, like, so when I would, I won't say what demographic or nationality these people were but whenever a certain demographic would come in they wouldn't want to be served by me they would want to be served by a girl only Mm. because I was gay yeah you know yeah and another instance I had when I was working at a retail shop years ago is it was actually a Samoan guy he he must have been like straight from the islands because he couldn't really speak English much (laughs) and then (laughs) like no I'm not like (laughs) no but it's facts yeah 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 it's how you know he was straight from the islands yeah and because (laughs) it was in Mount Joy and I was like no one really says that stuff yeah anyway so I was helping him out and I was like oh do you need like help and then he was like oh no I don't and then I walked off and then he said to his friend, he was like, oh, fuffa. Aww. And then I was like, what the fuck? Like, like I full turned around yeah. and I was just like, yeah, I'm gay and what? Yeah. And he was just like, oh, you understand? And I was like, of course I understand. <laughs> like, hello. This is Mount Druid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And it just like, it just surprises me sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Now I don't really get it. Yeah. Um, but it's still surprising. Yeah. I think growing up, it's more in our families and our like close group friends mm. in the community. And then I think when you start growing up, obviously when you start working, it's different, mm. but you teach them along the way. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, yeah, there's so many, it's like, especially men. Yeah. I always have trouble yeah. with men. And like even going out too, again, like hanging out with the girl, 
and it's like too we're too close like you know because we kiki we're talking whatever yeah. and the man automatically like oh you're trying to like still like really oh, that's so insecure though that's yeah you saying. already know the guy's gay yeah, yeah. Like, what's like, your deal <laughs> yeah i know or i have to act extra feminine oh. just to prove a point prove and i'm just point. and then like they're grossed out still i'm yeah. not comfortable well then you can't win yeah and it's like what, the fuck, what do you want <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm always put in a position where I have to defend myself. Yeah. So it's yeah. like very hard in that way. But yeah, in discrimination, yeah, we always mainly, yeah. 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 I, I find like, um, I'm not going to like <laughs> put people on blast here, but. <laughs> These are so uh, nice. I'm just like, tell him, tell him. So I have like, um, one of my good friends, he, he, he's, he's gay mm-hmm. um, and he's Indonesian mm-hmm. um, and he's, he has like he has so many hookups, but yeah. he says that the most that he's hooked up with mm, is the say. Pacific Islander mm. men, oh, and it's mm-hmm. always the ones that are married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's always the DL. That's, 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 yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we gotta talk about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was gonna. Yeah. I knew it was gonna come up. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, let's yeah. let's bring it it's out. The yeah, let's take my joke and it's all cultures too. Yeah. Like especially Middle Eastern. It's all the ones Middle that are Eastern. suppressed. Yeah. All the um, cultures that are suppressed. It's all yes. the like alpha male yes. dominated yeah. Um, yeah. countries and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. You like it. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 And exactly. they have beard wives, like, you know, yeah. just to, you know, pretend like they are. And yes. it's like, but then they're the most abusive towards those type of people in yeah. public. Like, they pretend like they're really put off by it mm. yeah. and they're abusive and they're rude. Because they're not but comfortable yeah. with them yeah. But behind closed doors, they're just like, oh, I'm into you. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Or are you yeah. into me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are you looking at me across the room? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've 100%. seen that. Yeah, because yeah, he was like, girl, if you only knew yeah. how yeah. many. Like, yeah. 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 Um, that's but yeah. So common. So it's, common. Oh, yeah. If any, like, yeah, that's probably the most thing I know. Mm. Like, it's all, a lot of married men and it's depressed. And that's why I always feel like religion has such a big part of it. Yeah. Yes. And culture yeah. because it's, it's not healthy. Yeah. yeah. And they have kids and then somewhat they want to come out now and yeah. it's just so bad uh, sorry bad stigma yeah. around the whole thing and then yeah so it's just annoying yeah it's annoying what are the uh, main like stereotypes and, and, and stigmas that like um around the lgbtqi oh fuck, there's heaps there's like well i hate All when there's a femme yes like that's such a misconception such yeah. a yeah. misconception yeah 100 yeah. percent. even like i know oh, this sounds weird but like uh, tying it to pedophilia as well, like yeah. that one. Yeah, oh Being, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I hate that. Pedos. Me like, too. I hate. Or even like if, and that's why even if there was a gay couple raising a child, especially like you know if they're gonna become gay, mm. I'm surrounded by straight people. Yeah. Like, what yeah. makes you think? And yeah. like, or even like, it's by choice. Yeah. Like, did you choose to be straight? Yeah. Did yeah. You, like, like yeah. would you, you want to choose to be another minority on top yeah. of a person? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. like, really? If I had to choose, I would ch- literally choose the one that's smart mm. for my life. Like, let's be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. something that's easy for you to yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be majority. Yeah. You know? But, um, yeah, that's who, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. There's, oh, there's heaps, but. Do you feel like you have to, um, act a certain way to hmm. sort of you know be accepted Become. yeah, yeah. Um, like like yes, you know what we mean? actors girl we yeah. Act. Yeah, we're actors. Act they need awards we're still waiting <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, oh my gosh yeah because i feel like when you're young and you're gay it's always going to be a secret at first mm. yeah mm. and i feel like when you grow up gay and young you always have to micromanage Every single everything thing you say, pinky, everything oh. you move, everything. That's like exhausting. it is mm-hmm. so exhausting. Oh my yeah. god, you live a very different life from when you are in the closet to when you're out of the closet. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I totally forgot what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we had to act like oh, be yeah. a certain person, become, yes. um, and it's and it goes back to like your mental state as well. Yeah, because you don't know if you become like, are you that person now? Like, yeah, you know what I mean, or who you. Who are you becoming? Who are you now? Yeah. Like, yeah. Who do you want to sh- be? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it ties with how, when we were little as well, we were saying earlier, Mary, let, like a lot of people in the actions of our parents saying, yeah. you know, disregarding. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're like so that. dismissive. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. why we have to act, yeah. you know, and especially like, um, even my dad too, like he wasn't opposed to it. Well, when he was alive, he wasn't opposed to it. Like from what I know. So he, oh, from my whole upbringing, he was never like, 
to like he never put me down. Yeah. So I but I never came out to him until he was on like his on his last days. Yeah. Okay. But I, later that time I came out to my mom. But they all knew I was so feminine. Yeah. yeah. But throughout high school I was like, let's play rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's like, slap bitches. Wanna, yeah, like, oh my gosh. I was, my nails. Boy, yeah. I was like with the boys and I want to be with the girls. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, your hair's so... Like, I couldn't. Like, yeah. it's yeah. so hard. And I, in my high school experience too, like, one of the guys, the leaders, you know, there's always that one leader. Yeah. Mm. He was Samoan and he knew. But he knew to the point where, like, I'm going to look after you. Okay. So oh, I was like, okay. oh, yeah, let's go and play with the girls if you want to, like, just be with me and him. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, don't worry, the boys are going to be da da da. So, like, it, I had that. That's mm. Yeah. That's so really I was looking to him. Yeah. Mm. But then after that, it was just, I was out, like. Yeah. 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 I found my click now. Yeah. 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 I was just like myself because it wasn't worth it. Mm. Yeah. It's so not worth it. It's yeah. not. But I, I, oh, sorry. No, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> We're always like, we were on the same wavelength. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll just say something, sorry. Yeah. Um, I feel like when I'm meeting a hetero male for the first time or a bunch for the first time, it's kind of like, you know when you can act really poly mm-hmm. and you know when a certain time and places to act that way and when not to act yeah. that way? Yeah. It's like that for me sometimes when I meet straight men for the first time like there's a certain degree or a certain blockage i'll put up yeah until they feel like they're comfortable yeah. once they feel like they're comfortable then i'll be like okay uh, this is like yeah. i'm actually yeah. coming out yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah that's really considerate of you though yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually, annoying. <laughs> i didn't know how comfortable you were to talk about that because i actually wanted to ask you um because mm. i find that when i watch from the ground up yeah you're different then yeah. when you are on the cut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 You know yeah that's, that's so true. true. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is so true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she clocked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad. Like, yeah. yeah. I, that's I, so I true. Been, yeah. yeah. I yeah. can see the difference too. I feel like I've always kind of had to balance. Yeah. Like those kind of genders, if yeah. that makes sense. So it's like ingrained in you. Like yeah. How to, yeah. It's hard to like break out of sometimes. But mm. I will also say. It's a little bit easier on the cut up because it's only audio as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> True. Whereas yeah. like when there's a camera, like I can act a fucking fool. <laughs> 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 Just to get them views. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, I I've, I've noticed that about me as well, especially in the first season. I was yeah. like didn't want to say anything, blah 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 blah. I was so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, because I like I have a friend who's he's very masculine yeah. and but he's also gay. Yeah. And he feels like people will only accept him if he starts acting feminine. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, so that's, he's that's different. I yeah. haven't really heard of, like, that's crazy. Yeah. That, that's yeah. very, yeah, different. So it's like, um, you know, in, he says that a lot of the younger ones, it's like they also, they have to act feminine mm-hmm. to sort of be like that subtle hint that like, you know, just to let people know, heads up, I'm, I'm gay. gay. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's the awareness of like, Knowing there's other types of gays, mm. like other type of you know, yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. There is, uh, I think because well, one you don't, oh, I think because it's so out there, you know what I mean. And I guess it is accepting, but with um masculine gays, like oh, what am I trying to say? I don't know. It depends on does he feel like he's left out or anything, or does he like? Um, I think he feels like um. You know he can he can talk to like you know the boy like he be he could be yes. one of the boys yeah. But there's still that little, you know, sort of, um, like, they don't come straight out and say, you know, I'm uncomfortable with, like, you mm. know, you being gay. Yeah. Because oh, okay. he's not yeah. acting gay. Okay. No, like, yeah. So yeah. it's hard for him to kind of come out. Yeah. Yes, to kind of, like, oh, hey, you're true. gay. Yeah. 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 I, 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 that's what I was thinking about, like, thinking of it from a straight person's point of, a point of view. Like, how it would be difficult for them to, like, come out to a straight person. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. That would be difficult, but I wouldn't know because I've never been masked. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. I tried, but like, it's, yeah. not, it's not me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I was like, you know, like for you know for the straight people, like mm. it should not matter anyway. Yeah. How, no, it like, shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. You know, how how to act. Is, yeah. Mm. Masculine, yeah. feminine, yeah. like feminine, like it, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, issue. Um, the sexuality. That's like you know that yeah. should be something you know private. It yeah. should then, be. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. have to put it out on blast. Yeah. And then, you know, like I feel like people feel that they have to come out no yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and a, a lot of like you know especially younger generation they feel like that you know if if i f- if i discover that i'm gay mm. i have to come out 
and, mm, and it has yeah. to be this whole big thing yeah. announcement yeah. and yeah. it's like no it sh- shouldn't matter yeah, yeah it shouldn't no, exactly mm. and it's gonna be it's i reckon it's gonna be a while yeah, for yeah. everyone to kind of like get that yeah because it's still like especially with culture it's mm. just so hard to like i've always said this too like in someone culture when it's not their child it's praise like yes. it's okay yeah but it's my own son different yes. yeah and i've always seen it yeah I was, I was talking to my friends we do have massive debates about this mm. particular topic yeah and um they've got children and um they they admit that they don't care what a person's like preference is mm. you know sexual partner or whatever mm. but they have admitted if it was their child mm. they, a lot of people they will do. disown them and i was like are you crazy was, and they were asking me what i would do with brooklyn like you know if she came out to me she's like mom i'm gay yeah and then i'd be like cool <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's the, that's the way it should be yeah when they're straight and i don't yeah. understand how it changes like it'll never change the way i love my baby mm. she's exactly. my baby that's yeah. why when my friends and i we disagree a lot because they are adamant if their child came out gay they will disown them. Yeah. On what, or they would them. give them a hiding. On what yeah. way though? Like, and what, um, like, what is it about it that kind of makes them disown them? So uh, again, religion. Yeah. Mm. So they're very um, against that. Yeah. Um, they don't, don't believe in it. They believe mm. it's um, something that's a choice. It's not something you're born with. Mm. Um, and it's just sad because I'm like, I tell them all the time, if they were to come to you and say that, I doubt you would do that because yeah. you love your yeah. child so much. One hundred percent. I'm just exactly like, right. I doubt you would disown them. I doubt you'd throw them out in the street mm. because that's your son. Yeah. yeah. But I think in their minds, they're just so terrified of of the unknown. Yeah. yeah. They don't understand what gay is. They just yeah. look at it like I'm a straight person. My kid's gonna be straight. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, the world doesn't work like yeah. that. Yeah. No. At least do they know it happens to the ones that yeah. think like yeah. that. Yeah. Like yeah. Literally. And I'm like, at least. Be happy the kid came to you. I was mm. like, I don't want my kid to ever feel like she can't come to me yeah. 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 about something it's as crazy. as serious as who like she loves. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. then that means I didn't do my job. <laughs> yeah, exactly mm. right. And if they're already open about it, yes. like they're never gonna come out exactly. then. Like, yeah. yeah, and that's why we get undercover men. Yeah, and, uh, you know, undercover ladies that marry into men and not happy. Yeah, yeah. like what life is that? Yeah, yeah. and that's mm. why I, I don't really like religion because it just suppresses. And plus. I don't like when people. I love religion for what it is, yeah. as the purity of it. Yeah. Mm. But when people use it to hide the actual opinion, yes. Yes. Who they are as a person, mm-hmm. don't do that. Yeah. That is, it's just admit yeah. that you don't like gay people. You're yeah. homophobic yeah. or you're transphobic. Yeah. Just say they don't use religion. Yeah. 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 Because you're choosing your religion over your child. Yeah. To me, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. And if anything, it contradicts them. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, isn't religion meant to be about you know like yeah, love and everyone. no judgment Everybody. or anything? Love and then you're trying to, yeah, yeah. And you're trying to like preach to other people, but you're not doing what you're you're saying you're supposed yeah. to be doing. Yeah. 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 And that's why I'm feeling like it's more homophobic, <coughs> transphobic. It's more strong than you know what I mean. And yeah. that's sad. Yeah. yeah. It's so sad. And like <laughs> with religion, um, I feel like. You know, um, I, I, I like I'm, I'm going to have a lot of religious people come at me for this. Sorry, but <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't know. No, no, no. Um, so, like, if you actually think about Christianity in, in particular, the, the Bible, mm. it's actually you know accounts from different people. Oh my gosh, That's, I always say this. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> and, and it's combined. And also, like back in the day, you had this one guy who ch- picked. Yeah. what goes in yeah. the bible mm-hmm. there's a lot of scripts out there that have not been included in the bible yeah. mm. like that that's nothing like no one mentions that yeah, yeah. yeah. no one does of course they, they yeah. cherry pick yeah. what suits their life or what suits yeah. my yeah, yeah of course what suits right now yeah. the situations that yeah. are going yeah. on yeah. now cherry yeah. picking yeah. yeah, hundred. Thank you for uh, bringing. Yeah, like, no, because they're yeah. just like I'm doing what the Bible says, but um, you're not in doing your the eyes, twenty other yeah. things that exactly. the Bible is telling you to do. I know. Exactly. Humble yourself. And yeah. how do you know? That, like, how do you know there wasn't a book out there? Yes. That was, like, you know, entirely about yeah. like you know, um, like gay people yeah. and like you know. All of that, and and they just excluded it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, exactly. Like we've been around. We've yeah. been like, yeah. hello. Like, come on. Yeah. That's that's my yeah. <laughs> my tea about that. But, yeah. I just feel like a lot of people also they 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 say they support, but yes. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that they say they support, but they don't really. Yeah, support. Mm. and um and, and it's always like okay when I'm with them I support them, but then you know when I'm uh, with another group then I'll conform to whatever they're. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't want to be singled out in yeah. that group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. um and like. <laughs> I just I don't know. There's this thing that I I, I notice in the, in in females as well, mm. is that they 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 act all um they act different as well, 
Like they're very, yeah, you know, extra. Cute. They're very yas queen. Oh and my all god! That. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're the character around. themselves. Like, yeah. yeah. How yeah. do you feel about that? I because hate I, it. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. I'm like, even if I don't know you, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like automatic. Especially like, oh when god. I don't know you. Yeah. Yes. Like if I meet you at a club and you're like, yeah, blah, 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 like. You're expecting too much energy from me <laughs> to give yeah. back to you. Yes. You're doing too much. You're doing way yeah. too much. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not judging you're working you. too I'm hard. Just... No one asked you to work <laughs> that hard. Yeah, like you I love that sis. you're appreciating like, yeah. it, but like. Yeah. <laughs> like, would you do the same for a straight person? No, yeah. no. you yeah. wouldn't be like, oh, yo, what up, bro? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> like it's... So why would you come up to me and do that? Yeah. Like, no, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, to me, it's kind of like a microaggression. Yeah. 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 Like you're subtly saying like, you're different. Like yes. I have to be this way for yeah. you to connect yeah. to me. Mm. Yeah. I feel like a lot of my That's gay friends way. feel that way too. Like yeah. when we're at the clubs and then random yes. people will come up to us and they'll they'll do too much. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And then my gay friends will get very offended, very yeah. annoyed. Yeah. And then they'll give them the like, you know, the sass. Like, yeah. yeah. You need to leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, read yeah. the room and um, yes, walk away room. before you feel my foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how, and then I can't help them because I'm like, bitch, that was your fault. No, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's like you came up to them. Why, the no one girl. asked you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh. like I, I'm a very, um, I think one of the benefits of being an introvert is that I'm very observant as mm. well. Yeah. So I, I notice a lot of that and I yeah. just cringe every time it I see Why? It's so it makes everyone uncomfortable. Yeah, I know. It's like, that's so fake. Yeah. 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 It's just yeah. when they're not pulling it off. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on. Like, it's just yeah. not happening. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can be yourself. Like, one minute we're just having a normal conversation, then after that, it's like all these snap yeah. fingers. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and then there's like streamers, and you're just yeah. like, where did the streamers come from? Yeah. Your fly gap? What in the world? <laughs> They keep it on lock, yes. like, get ready. And, like, like, sh- yeah. <laughs> and they have, like, pride flags. Yes. Like. And then I'm just like, I'm not with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh so, gosh, yeah, I mean, to all our stray sisters out there, just remember, yeah, just tone it down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> down a notch, yeah. just a little bit. Especially on first encounters. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. So. It's okay yeah. afterwards because yeah. we've grown a friendship, yeah. a bond, yeah. like. Do it then, yeah. not at first, because it's not cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because my other girlfriend, my straight girlfriend's like, why do you have to treat them like that? And they had to explain to her, like, she's doing too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, why? She doesn't know us. Yeah, and, and for mm. her to come up to us like she does know us. Yeah, stereotyping. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like, would she come up to you and do that? And I'm just like, what'd you ask that question for? Yeah. <laughs> Are you putting me on the spot? I know. Yeah. I was like, why did you have to ask him that? Now he's mad. <laughs> Shit, he's already mad. Yeah. <laughs> you know me bitch like that other girl and now you're asking dumb questions <laughs> why'd you do that oh, 100% but yeah. it's so real I love that you brought that up because not yeah. many people like pick it up yeah. you know what I mean not and many like, people not yeah. many. and we've had so many conversations yeah. like, about oh stuff like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I get it. Like, I get that you're going to do it, like, just to make us feel comfortable yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But we do it in a way because, well, one, we've been through shit. Yeah. You know, a lot of them act And this act is how sassy. we act. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's the, um, the projection or the re- or whatever, like, of what they've been through. Yeah. Having to be defense. Yeah. So why they do that is because they've been through shit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Just to make it more, like, deep or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, uh, for me, that's my understanding why. Some gays or les- whatever yeah. act a certain way because it's what they've been through. Yeah, mm. yeah, so. yeah. That's fair enough, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and for those straight girls, I mean, if you're like that in general and it's real, like, yeah, yeah. okay. Like you can tell the difference. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 When yeah. someone's putting it on, it's like, yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. girls. Oh my gosh, it's the Balangi girls. I was gonna say that as well, but I feel like I'm being like really hate people with this. But maybe I do. I mean, you took everyone's country. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Including <laughs> ours. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. But yeah. No, good. I love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at Palagi. <laughs> 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 it's always at the like, club and I'm just like, that it, poor girl, she's going to get slapped. She's yeah. going to get slapped. She's about to get slapped. <laughs> Uh, like I even me, I find it so annoying. So yeah. I can't imagine no, how. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, I think we'll wrap it up. Um, oh, okay. No, I don't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's crazy. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Of course yeah. Yes. Have you, like, throughout your lives, ever thought there was a possibility that you could be either lesbian 
or trans or like something along the umbrella? I have to be honest, yeah, with me. Yeah. I wow. yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um I don't there was a stage where <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I never got any boys. <laughs> in high school. Yeah. I never like you know they weren't interested in me or anything. Mm-hmm. I like I yeah. just never had a boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. So I was like I kind of was curious that um what if I am then? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you know maybe I'm uh, like you know maybe I'm a lesbian and that's yeah. why like you know I'm not yeah. attracting um, men. Yeah. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And I also like I I do find you know women attractive as well. Same. Yeah. I yeah. admire them I so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It's like. I love you. Yeah. 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 And I think just that, just just admiring someone and their looks and that, like, it also, like, I wasn't sure within myself, is is that being, like, you know? Yeah, you can't, like, differentiate. Yeah. 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 So it's like, oh, does that mean I'm a lesbian? Yeah. Or, like, Mm, yeah. So, um, yeah, at at a stage, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was. I think for me, I was... I was always like, um, cause I have eyes, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we and don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, just close your eyes. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean in the sense of um, you're attracted to what you're attracted to. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I can appreciate a, a, a good looking guy, and I can appreciate when a girl looks amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I used to, I used to love that. So when I see a hot guy, I'm like, oh, he's hot. And then when I see a hot girl, I'm like, oh, she's freaking hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I knew deep down, I am, I am straight. I am, yeah. I am into yeah. guys. I do find women super attractive, super beautiful. Um, and if anything, when we give each other compliments, it, it means more to me when it comes from a straight girl. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they know the amount of effort you put yeah. in. Oh my gosh, same as me. Like, yes. was a gay guy. Like, yeah. bitch, I've, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. When they compliment you, you're just yeah. like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to cry? Like, when a guy does it, you're just like, oh yeah, thanks. But you know, it's like, you different don't know for the straight way. guy. Yeah, you like, know, it's like, yeah. they just want to get it in or they're just yeah. being like, whatever. But when it's a girl, they know the amount of time and preparation yeah. and, mm-hmm. and, and thought you've put into it. So it means more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've never thought I was a, a lesbian, but I do appreciate a good looking chick. I'm just yeah. like, oh, mm. nice boobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, of course. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. interesting. It's cool that you've opened up about that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mums are probably like, what? <laughs> My partner's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Raging swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, that's a really, you know what? That should be like a. Um, like a segment or something? A segment, yeah. 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 Raging song. It's where you like, just go, go know, off about go someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. you should do that. Yeah. 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 That's we'll, so good. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That should be our word, like our code word for where I'm going to go deep. Yeah. 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 Are you going to be a raging show? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Synchronize watches, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a long one. <laughs> oh, I love <laughs> Um, okay, so, um, oh man, I had so much fun. I had I, 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 I feel like, I'm just like, are we really finishing it? Yeah, I know, maybe you've got something else to ask, all your questions are yeah. asked. <laughs> 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 Let me just look up Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, my uh, no, I, I, I really yeah. had so yeah, much fun. Yeah, I had the best time. Yeah, thank you so amazing. much. Oh, no, okay. thank, thank you, you like, so seriously. much for having us on. It means so yeah. much. Yeah, no, and thank no. you so much for sharing your stories yes. as well, for being thank really you. open yeah. and no, like anytime. helping us, you know, raise awareness. Mm, a lot of our people were just are too ignorant and we need to yeah. stop that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do. Yeah. Um, so in conclusion, I, I want to end with um, just two last questions. Yeah. Um what is your message for a younger generation who are scared to come out oh. to their loved ones? Yeah, love that. I love, love that. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the first question. Yeah, you can start. I was like, this is the part you answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the second question. I was like, oh, no, no, but I get it. I'm not in um in tune with the first one. Sorry. I feel like they were in sync and yeah, yeah. Okay. it's like um <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh um, yeah. Our message. That's hard. You you know what? Like the last past year, like since doing from the ground up, like a lot of poly kids have come up to me or messaged me and said, like, you know, I'm scared to come out or mm. like I'm trans but i can't transition because my family will not accept me my father's a reverend like all of this oh. like there's so much that plays into it wow um i would say like if you're gay and you're scared of how your parents or your family is gonna react 
just know like it'll be okay first 100%, of all yeah. like for me, like, I was prepared when I came out to my parents. I was prepared, like, if they were going to kick me out, like, all good. Like, we would settle it down the line, but I was prepared to, like, move out. Like, mm-hmm. you have to be prepared for everything when you're yeah. coming out. Um, love yourself. Like, yeah. love yeah. yourself. Because if you don't, like, it's just going to carry on with you later on in life. You might get a wife later on and then yeah. it'll come out and blah, 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 blah. Um if religion comes into it, like, that's a hard one. Mm. One, because I wasn't brought up in a religion. Two, because I haven't had that experience. Um, but do what makes you happy. Like, you just really have to look after yourself yeah, when 100%. it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. And come out when you're ready, not when someone's yeah, trying like to make you come out. Yeah. yeah. Or when it's coming out pressure. month. Like, don't do it just because of that. Do yeah. it when you're ready. Yeah, and I think I'll just add on to that because I totally agree with everything Hugger said. Mm. Um, even message us. Like, we're so mm. open to, like, take anyone who's wanting to, like, you know, unsure about how to come out and yeah. very scared because it's a scary feeling. Like, yeah. It's yeah. So I remember that same. feeling. I, that's what I'm feeling. I'm yeah. feeling emotional. I know. I feel like, yeah, like, it's very... <laughs> I always cry on every podcast. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah, I always cry. But um, yeah, just just what open, like, if you want to talk in, in any way or, like, if you need information on, on who to talk to, like, I'm so happy to give information out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yes, love yourself because at the end of the day, you have yourself. Yeah. Yes. Like, I know it sounds cliche and corny, but. It's so true. Yeah. You know, and you, like, you die alone. Yeah. That's yeah. all I always no say. No one knows you, you like alone. you. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, so do it for yourself. Mm-hmm. And w- later on, it's gonna come tenfold. Like you're gonna support your family. Your family will come around mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, yeah, yeah. Trust oh, the process. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank no you worries. so much for sharing that. And Thank the last you. one is, um, what is your message to our, again to our younger generation who are unsure about their sexuality? Shit. So it's that okay can, when they're confused. Yeah, yeah, I think it's okay to feel that way. Yeah, it is. Validate that you feel that way because Accept no that one feeling. always. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's okay to not be sh- sure. Mm. There's no timeline when you have to be sure who you have, have to be. Yeah, you know, you'll come later on discovering. I still don't know who I am. Yeah, like you know True, what I mean. Yeah. I'm still my career, everything. I mean, I'm gay, but like I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I know damn well. But yeah, you're still unsure. It's okay. Just know it's gonna get somewhat you'll eventually find yourself however that may be Mm -hmm. Mm. um don't listen to anyone telling you how you should live your life in any way shape or form yeah um yeah on a positive note yeah it's okay to feel that way yeah yeah Yeah. or like reach out to people that have had like a similar experience or people that are within that umbrella Mm. to like kind of validate your feelings and stuff like that like it would be a disservice to yourself if you don't do that you know Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And treat everyone kind. Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) No, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Yeah, th- oh, thank you so much. I we love this like, episode. yeah, I had it such an awesome you. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, did you want to ha- add anything else before we end? Um, I just want to say, with all the allies, um, mm. support the group, the trans movement. Yes. Yes, yeah. please, like all the movements that we have that's going for the LGBTQ, mm-hmm. I um, support them, please, because if anything, like everyone. A lot of trans people die a lot, like every day. Yep. Mm-hmm. So in yes. saying that, please, I mean, not saying anyone else dies, but I'm saying, you know, the movement's there. Yeah. So please support it. Mm-hmm. Support Chanel, support all the activists because be aware. Because yeah. It, yeah. whoever knows, it might be your son, it might be your brother, your sister, your daughter. Hundred. So please, yeah. please um, support. Yeah. Yeah, right. I would say that as well. Yeah. If yeah. you're an ally, be there. Yeah. Support the Vogue boards. Support... Local artists, local, local like artists. everyone yeah. who's yeah. trans, like all of it, because the love they give is unspoken. Like, yep. yeah. please, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like gay people, they're the market. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 but man. also no. speaking of that, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Also no. speaking of that, like companies that come into Pride Month, oh my gosh. and advertise yes. for Pride Month, like that pisses me off I, so much mm-hmm. you're yeah. literally grabbing coins yeah. off mm-hmm. us yeah. like not off us but like the our backs really. yeah. they're writing it they're, they're writing, writing it yeah. for your gain yeah. and yeah. like when you're doing that for pride month like at least donate yes. some of it to like the LGBT movement funds. <laughs> yeah. they have but they supported 
even previously, like a lot of companies support the anti-gay movement as well. Yeah. So like they're writing uh. it to make the sales and order us for us to be in it. Yeah. Yeah. Heaps yeah. of businesses. Heaps. Yeah. Yeah. So please be a part of it by yeah. all means. Anyway, you know, contact mm. us. If anything, to kind of get a part of it, yeah. Support yeah. your bitches. Yeah. <laughs> and support our loved ones here. I love that. Yeah. Yes. 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 Support your bitches. Yes. Support your bitches. Yes. Come on. Yes. And we love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Cuz, did you want to add anything? No, just thank you guys so yeah. much for no, being no, here. No, Seriously. Thank you. thank you so we'll much. We'll probably talk some more after. Yeah, this. we yeah. will. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Have a smoke up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, honestly, thank you again so much. Like, like, you thank you. We feel thank so you. honored. The no, we feel honored. Come on <laughs> to yeah. the podcast. Thank I'll you so yeah. much. Yeah. No, we love having you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, yes. And thank you for, like, being so brave to share your stories yes. as well. Thanks. Um all right so um that is a wrap um and we will see you <laughs> in the next episode bye, yeah. bye. bye. subscribe subscribe bye bye <laughs> <Right> on apple <laughs> podcast <laughs>